Well, Andrew, but it sounds like you're expecting some more some more snow at least tonight, right? A little bit. That's right. Keeping things slippery, but more time for naming those snow plows since the snow will be basically uh, ineffectual for the most part because much of it will be melting at least over the next few hours once it hits the roadways. No deep amount of snow as we go through these evening hours or the nighttime hours or even tomorrow. Let's focus on some of the snow right now. It is a bit heavier in some of the darker areas of blue, but in these sections here where you're seeing some green pop up, like on the east side of the city along Jefferson Avenue, Avenue and up through the gross points just south of Harper Woods, you're looking at a rain mix uh, mix. You, you are looking at rain mixing in same thing a little bit farther north from this area in areas like Mount Clemens uh, along I-94 in the New Baltimore area and also over Marine City and parts of southern um, uh, St. Clair County. But for the rest of southeast Michigan, we're seeing flurries and light snow showers and more to our west that have yet to move through. So we'll continue this pattern of flurries and light snow this evening and overnight tonight, even lingering into the holiday tomorrow. It'll be slippery, but it will not be impossible to get around. It will be more difficult with temperatures going below freezing. We're already at the freezing mark in some places and we'll be down to the 20s tonight. 26 to 29 degrees in the metro zone and temperatures pretty uniform across all of southeast Michigan. So from the thumb down to the Ohio border, temperatures in the middle and upper 20s. 33 right now over at the airport and so far just a trace of snow being measured at the airport. We're, we still have some hours to go before midnight, so we'll see if we get a tenth of an inch or so. But we're still seeing a below average snowfall of nearly three inches when you compare it to the average for this time of, for this time in the season. Currently, it's 33 for our friends over in Oxford, 32 though already over in uh, Port, in Pontiac. Same thing in Ann Arbor and in Adrian. So in those spots where you're making it down to the freezing mark, it starts to become more icy. And where the snow is a little bit heavier, like in central Oakland County, parts of Livingston County, you're looking at visibility being reduced to two miles or less. So it will get a little more slippery tonight and it will be tougher to see. But this area of low pressure or this disturbance that's overhead slowly pulls away. Emphasis on the word slowly because it's so slow that we still keep snow showers in the forecast through tonight, through the holiday tomorrow, even into Tuesday morning. Not persistent every minute or every hour of the day, on and off flurries and light snow that will amount to another half inch to an inch or so by the end of tomorrow. So once again, no big heavy amount and a good chance of some of it melting during daylight hours when temperatures get back above freezing. So 28 degrees overnight tonight. Flurries and snow showers continue. They'll be on and off with low temperatures that will be in the upper 20s to about 30 degrees. Highs tomorrow around 35 degrees. Still the weather is good enough for folks who are celebrating and many of us who are commemorating the, the MLK holiday. Well, again with 30, 35 degrees for a high by 4 p.m. Some of those snowflakes linger into Tuesday morning. Afterward, looking pretty good for the rest of the week. Temperatures will be in the 30s for highs and 20s for lows as we go into the middle and end of this week with some sunshine more prevalent by the end of this week.